G'day legends. Do you get sick of setting up sessions for mixing, doing all of that mix prep, importing tracks, color coding things, strip silence, all of the necessary evils that you need to do to get a session set up and ready to mix? Do you just wish that you could do that a lot quicker and take all of that time and get it back? Well, now you can because Forte is a company who's made this really awesome software using AI that automates the whole process and makes it really quick and seamless. You just set up a couple of parameters, dial a couple of things in, and then you just let it do the rest of the work for you. So we're gonna explore this now because they've just released it for Logic Pro. It's been out for a little bit on Pro Tools, but now it's available for us Logic Pro users so we can speed up the whole mix prep and start diving into mixing a lot quicker. Okay, so when you open up Forte, this is what it looks like. At the moment, it knows that I have a session open, but I can tell it to create a brand new Logic Pro project. So let's click on that and see what happens. Okay, so you can see it's opened up a brand new session for us. Now, all we need to do is import our files for the project. So I'm just gonna use the multi-tracks from my metal mixing course. So all we have to do is highlight all of these. I'm gonna hit Command A and then just drag them into Forte. Now you can see it's already started working. We've got color coding going on here and we've also got Forte renaming our tracks as well. So we've got filter drums and it's changed it just to drums. Let's explore this a little bit more. Let's go down and have a look at what else we've got. Ride R has just been relabeled Ride. Now the R in this file name represents that the ride symbol needs to be panned to the right in correspondence with where it's positioned in the overheads. So this might be an important thing that we wanna keep in here. Now, if we see that, we can click on these dots and then we can say, keep original name and we get our original name back. So for the most part, if it's renaming the tracks and you like what it's doing, then that's cool. But if you need to fix a track here and there, all you have to do is click on those dots and then hit keep original name. Now for me, I usually don't like to change the file names from what people send me because if they ask me to adjust something in the mix, they usually use those file names that they send to me. So if they've labeled it something like, you know, Dan's guitar or something like that, I generally leave it called Dan's guitar just because I know when they send me mixing notes, they're probably gonna use those titles that they've kept. So if you wanna keep your track names untouched, you can always just press Command A and highlight everything and then hit those dots and keep original names. So as we scroll down, you'll notice that all of our drum related tracks are right at the top here and these are all pink. And then all of our bass tracks will be a dark purple, but we can see we've got a couple of tracks in here that aren't the bass. We've got some MIDI guitar files here as well. So these need to be sent probably to a different group. Now we can do that just by highlighting these. I'm holding shift and clicking and then we can come over to our three dots and we can change the category. So these actually just need to go into guitars because they're MIDI guitars. So I click on that. Now they've been sent down here into this dark blue, kind of dark purple zone. And this is where all of our guitar files are. Now we can just quickly scroll through our guitars and check that these are indeed all guitars. So basically this is what you do. You just go through and you sort this out a little bit. We can also resize the screen. So let's just open this up a little bit more so we can see a little bit more of what's going on here. Now, what we can do is we can also personalize this. So we click up here on the top left we can come down to settings and we can customize this whole thing to set it up for how we wanna use it every time we open Forte. So we can select all of our colors for our categories. We can rename these, you know, if you want it to be called drum kit, you can call it drum kit, whatever. You can come down here, relabel these, create the groups that you commonly use, and then you can fine tune which instruments should be added to these groups. So underneath drums, you can see all of these different names, drums, overhead, kick, snare. So you can click on anything that you think should be added to the drum group. And so you can go and do that through all of these different groups. And then you can also arrange how the tracks should be ordered in your session. So for me, I like drums up the top, percussion, bass, guitars, keys, synth, brass, all that kind of stuff in this order, finishing up with vocals at the bottom. You can also select the routing for this as well. So for all my drums, they're gonna be going to bus one, all of the percussion to bus two, bass to bus three. Any corresponding guitar tracks are all gonna to go to bus four. So when we hit import, all of this information is going to be sent into Logic and set up for us. And down the bottom here, we've got a couple of cool options as well. So we've got strip silence. So this will automatically strip out the silence of your track. So any unnecessary silent gaps, it will chop them away and just leave what's needed for the mix. 
There's also stereo to mono. And what this does is it finds tracks that might be stereo that don't need to be. Maybe it's a hard panned mono guitar. And so what Forte will do is it will bring it back to mono and pan it to the left for you. If you like your names to be all uppercase, which is what I do, then you can choose uppercase or you can have title casing or capitalize or lowercase. It lets you customize the style. And you can also customize your color style. Under global settings, general, rename, auto rename. For me, I would leave this as keep file name because that's the way I like to work. Okay, so since we've got our routing set up, our color coding set up, all of that stuff, everything's looking good. We can just hit set routing options. So let's jump to the next section. So we can see here, everything is already done because I already did this under our settings. So we can see our destination here for our drums, the output bus one. And so you can see for the, all of the bass tracks, they're going to the output of bus three which is how we had it set up in our settings. Right here, these guitars are going to bus one, but we can easily highlight these and we can change them to bus four. All of our effects are going to bus 10, our vocals are going to bus 12, and then all of our screaming vocals are going to bus 13. Okay, now we have to do is hit import. Let's see what it does. Now, right now, all of the automation is taking place. It's taking all of the files from our folder, chucking them into Logic, it's color coding it for us, it's setting it all up. So what you can do now is you can just kick back, have a coffee and let it do the work for you. So it can take a couple of minutes and then it'll be ready to go. So potentially a good time to check your emails, respond to some clients, all of that stuff while in the background Forte is setting up your session for you so that all of the nitty gritty stuff is done and you can just dive straight into mixing. And this is a big session too. It has about 70 tracks that it has to import right now. So it's doing an awesome job of getting this stuff in here really quickly. And right now it's doing the strip silence across all of our channels. You see it's chopped out all of the toms for us. That's pretty awesome. That is incredibly fast. That's crazy to watch. All right, and it's done. How crazy is that? So we zoom out, we've got our full session in here. Everything has been strip silent. So you can see all of the sections where audio is actually taking place because normally you'd go through and clean this out yourself. So that's an absolutely massive time saver, especially if people are sending you tracks all the time for mixing. This is a really cool way of just cutting down, getting your session set up. Because Forte will remember all of your settings that you put in. So the first time you use Forte, it can take a little bit longer to get it set up. You just dial in how you want Forte to work for you. And then every time after that, it remembers all of those parameters that you've set up and you basically just have to chuck your tracks in and then hit go. So if you're a Logic Pro user and you find this kind of thing really exciting, make sure you go and check Forte out for yourself. There's a link in the description below. There's a couple of different options for buying and using Forte. There is a subscription model, but there is also the ability to buy licenses as well. So definitely go and check out their pricing and see what works for you. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna support this channel, make sure you visit my website, pick yourself up a mixing course or a drum sample pack. Grabbing any of that stuff is a massive support for the time that goes into making videos on this channel. And if you're interested in checking out one of my mixing courses, then check out this next video coming up.